The Prout economy, it's a very vast, comprehensive philosophy given by Prabhat Ranjan Sarkar, an Indian sage, philosopher, spiritualist, social reformer, lived from 1921 to 1990. Prout is a new economy, humane, decentralized economy with a three-tier economic system whose primary uh, tier, middle tier, is cooperatives. That decentralized economy will be achieved through cooperatives in so many sectors of the society. So Proud is grounded in reality, but it's a struggle to create a new society. If we're ready to transform ourselves, that means we have the material to work on transforming the society, slowly and gradually, because Proud is based on spirituality. We are citizens of the universe. The Supreme Father is our Father. The Supreme Creative Principle is our Mother. The universe is our home. The idea of Proud is private property actually, philosophically, cannot be accepted because I might have owned a property for 50 or 100 years, 200 years, but the earth on which I live has been in existence for 8 billion years. There's five fundamental principles, which basically is based on rational distribution. Maximum utilization of everything, physical, mental, and spiritual, and rational distribution of those resources for the benefit of humans and non-humans animate and also inanimate. We have to provide, this is the first principle of problem. The five minimum necessities of life must be guaranteed to all human beings. Not that they're guaranteed and then people are lazy and don't do anything to get them, but it means everybody should be given the capacity to work and have the purchasing power to get the minimum needs of food, clothing, shelter, medicine, and education. Mass units are the practical applications of problem. We hope more and more and more people of the world will explore problem. There's so many levels of detail there in economics, politics, governance, how to create thriving socioeconomic units in a country based on common legacy, the legacy of language, the legacy of common usages, culture. Proud envisions a reformulation of boundaries, as it were, into samajas. Samaj is a newer view of how to create communities that are inspired by their culture, their history, their, their language. But at the same time, it's local and universal. So act locally and think universally. We encourage people to study it more and to contribute to make it happen. If the whole thing could be broken down, discussed in universities and put into some kind of workable form for people and society's government, that's the good direction which we hope will happen soon. Baba Nam